Shit. Oh, good morning. Good afternoon, y'all. I'm going to have to share some drama with y'all. That's just happening down the street for me. Oh, Lord. Anyways, um, there's a situation that happened <laughs> um, where a young man was pulled over at 2, I believe it was 8 a.m. in the morning. Um, and... Uh, Uh, um, the officers, you know, put him in a cell, obviously because he had a warrant for theft. And um, somehow the individual, whew, somehow the individual <clears throat> just, you know, hey, whatever. Um, the, so they put him in jail. Somehow he ended up deceased in jail. Now, all we know is the, off the, 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 the fifth district police station suspended the officers, their own duty. Ain't nobody said nothing. Why? What? But they're put on administrative leave, right? Well, the young man wasn't having it. One of his family members, he, he, you know, he, he just wasn't having it. So what he did was Milwaukee Police Department officer shot and injured a man who opened fire in one of the city's police departments. He let off on them inside the department. Okay? Because it wasn't no answers about his brother, so he decided he was just going to let them know that, you know, we ain't taking it hands down. Milwaukee-based TMJ4 reports that more than two dozen Milwaukee officers were seen outside of the city's police stations Friday afternoon after reports of the shooting at District 5. The police chief, Jeffrey Norman, told news agencies that a suspect entered into the District 5, opened fire, while community members were also inside the building. A Milwaukee officer returned fire, Norman continued, and the suspect ran away. Officers followed the suspect to the 2900 block of 6th Street and fired multiple shots hitting him. The fire department confirmed to TMJ4 that the suspect was near 6th and Locust, uh, was transported from the area uh, around 3 p.m. with non-fatal injuries. Officers, again, are on administrative leave in West Allis while the police while and police are investigating. On Wednesday, this was the catalyst to this happening, Keyshawn Thomas died at the fifth district building while in custody. Um uh, he did nothing wrong. He just had a, a theft warrant from a prior prior years, like maybe three years prior, I think they said. And he that's why the police actually ended up apprehending him and taking him into custody. However, he died in custody, and nobody knows why. How We do know that TMJ reported that the three officers were suspended in connection with his death. Now, see, that's that's problem. That's a problem. So the guy got crazy and he got mad and he got, you know, everybody can't take it. People were at an all time there. Well, put it like this. All I can say, they are, their stress level is at an all time high. So he went inside the, um, 
He went inside and just did something about it, and he let off on the police officers. That is insane. So I'm going to keep y'all posted on this story. We don't know. Um, wow. I mean, because he wasn't hurt, but they did put him away. But we was looking at this and we saying, woo. They, they playing for keeps now. You know, and it's so insane because I had an incident that happened to me a few days ago. And um, it, it was so ridiculous that I didn't even share it with the family. I should have because I almost got killed over a garbage can. Yes, you heard it right, over a garbage can. So, you know, we have to really be careful out in these streets. I had to think to myself, did I handle the situation the best? Maybe I didn't. You know, um, however, I don't think anything is worth a person, um, something so petty that you can take somebody's life over it. You know, it's not worth it. And when you come up to somebody's house with something like that, you intend to do something. And and, and so, like I said, people at an all-time high of madness. And, you know, you're going to have to be a, on guard. I don't want to kill nobody. You understand what I'm saying? But it might end up coming to the point where I just have to. And if they look like they need it and, and they're asking for it, then sometimes you have to give the people what they want. It's just that simple. And I'm assuming that if this guy walks into the police station, busting on them, you know, I'm surprised he's not dead. I really am. I really am. I don't know. Y'all tell me what you think about this story. This happened today, this afternoon in Milwaukee. Leave your comments below. If you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, share the channel, and I'll see you in the next.